Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you new, hello, thank you for joining my awesome blog channel. Anyway, guys, um, hold up, got the vision. Anyway, I'm about to get ready. Um, I'm about to get ready. Anyway, guys, I have a job. I have counseling at twelve. I have a job interview at three. Just get that three. I'm going over to my mom's. I basically want to vent. Well, so let me get into the shit. So basically, I was watching a video, a drama. Oh, and I'm wearing my fucked up single moon shirt. I fucked up because I can't design. I can design a fucking shirt to save my fucking life. Anyway, um. So, I was watching the drama channel video, talking about Shane Dawson, and I think, I, okay, basically, this is my problem. I love the internet, but there are times when I feel like the internet is just toxic. Like, people, people want to cancel people over stupid shit. So, let me get into this. So, Shane gets a lot of shit from people um, all the time because he's best friends with Trisha Paytas. And mother people are, are fucking immature as fuck and want him to stop you. They want him to like. Hold on. So. Hold on. Anyway. So basically, <laughs> what's happening is when Shane's um, docu-series came out, <laughs> there was a trailer. There was a little part where we're talking about the Jeffrey, I mean, the James Charles scandal shit. Anyway, basically, there was some dude that made a video where he's, he's basically spoken to Jeffrey and he's saying that he heard Shane talking shit about James Charles on the video. But here's the thing. We don't know if this mu This dude could be lying through his fucking teeth. And what fucking pisses me off is because of that stupid little shit and because of the little trailer incident, people want to cancel Shane, which is fucking bullshit and really fucking pisses me off. Yeah. And you know what? It's not right. It's disgusting. And I think all these motherfuckers that want to cancel people need to have several fucking seats. And you know what, honestly, I, I I don't give a fuck if I get hate for this video. I really don't give a fuck. I stand Shane all day. I stand Jeff and Trish all day. And if people want to cancel me because of that, well, then fuck you. Because I'm a grown adult. And I can pick who the fuck I want to stand and not stand. Now, say with G Gabby Hanna. She's, she's going through some shit right now. And I feel bad for her. And I stand her as much as I stand all, all the other ones I just got through saying. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's like me. <clears throat> what? I would make it big in my channel that's popping and shit. And I have people coming at me over past shit I've done in the past. I'm, I'm going to take a break. Love the internet, but there are times when I'm going to take a break because I can't do all of the negativity. We got the Black Lives Matter shit going on, which I support, but we got all of this. We got all this other bullshit. Yeah, which I don't fuck with. But yeah, I don't know. That's my problem with the internet. Um, then people want to cancel people over past shit they've done in the past, which is so fucking stupid. I, I think it's stupid. And you know what? Oh my god. I can talk about this. This is dude. He's talking shit about you. Oh yeah. So speaking of motherfuckers. So this stupid kid. He's a kid. He's a teenager. He was talking shit about, tri oh, about Trisha Paytas on Morgan Adams' Twitter. And he was just trying to bully her to not hang out with Trish. I was just doing bullshit. It was just such bullshit. Anyway, I commented, I was fine to the kid, basically calling him out for being ignorant little shit. And basically, I go over to his Twitter and I see that he's a Jeffrey, he's a James Charles stan. I DM him and letting him know that he supports somebody that's, that's trash, basically. Because I don't like James Charles. I, I think he's trash. I think him and Nikia Dragon. I, I think Nikia Dragon's trash. I think Manny. I think they're all very trash and disgusting. And I think that's the problem with, with beauty gurus is that they would stick up their ass. And I just don't fuck with that shit. So, yeah. 
That's basically how I felt. Anyway, um, I just, you know, it bugs me when people, oh, and then people will come for Shane, you know, accusing him of only doing makeup to sell, sell his shit, and they're like, oh, well, he's, he's more makeup in months. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? He could be wearing makeup. He, he just don't, every time he does a project, he takes a fucking break. And it's, and, and it was disgusting. And like Shane Dawson, if you're watching this, um, I stand you all day. Like, keep your head up. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. I relate to Shane and Trisha so much. This is why. I struggle, I, I have a food problem. I have a self-esteem problem. My self-esteem is really fucking low. It is. And I fuck with Shane and Trisha because they talk about having, you know, problems in the past with food and shit. And I'm the same way. But, uh, yeah. You know what, trolls, if you're watching this video, fuck you. Fuck you for trying to bully Shane Dawson. Fuck you for wanting to stop supporting him because of some stupid bullshit that you feel. The like, oh, you, you can't just Shane. Fuck you. Fuck you. And that's just how I feel. And if Trisha Pace sees this video, which I doubt, but she ever does, I'm be like, girl, you need to come back on tour again, you do. Because I want to meet you again. I've seen you all day. But yeah. That's my two cents. Hmm. Yeah. It is. So, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Please consider continue um, liking and commenting down below. Whatever. But, um, yeah. I mean, plus, life's too short anyway. Like, for example, I have friends in my life that don't like each other. And, and well, you know what? I've had this girl I was friends with. She gave me shit because I'm, I'm friends with somebody she don't fuck with. And then she tells me that, oh, she gave me friends with me because I fuck with so-and-so, which is so fucking stupid. Like, kid bullshit. Yeah, it is. Oh, yes. Anyway, let me get back on topic about, about Gabby Hanna. Okay, Gabby Hanna's made some mistakes, but... <laughs> She needs to, Gabby Hanna needs to take a break from the internet. She, she does. She does. I love her music. Bad Karma is my shit. Glass House is my jam. I, her poem book is beautiful. I have it. I read it. It was such a beautiful poem book. I stain her so much. Um, when her and Trisha were having beef, I was like, what the fuck? But, what I'm going to say about that is that, it, it was not Gabby's, Gabby should not have gone over to Jason to tell Jason that shit, but Trisha had the STD. <laughs> Her and Jason were not friends. She had no... She had no right doing that shit. So, yeah. But, um, I mean, she's like... I, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Gabby Hannah. I mean, she's kind of like me. Like, it. I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> In the past, in my past, I have started shit with people. I have serious, because in the past, I've been a gossip bitch. And now I'm looking at I'm almost 30 is that. There are times when I need to fucking realize that I need to shut my fucking mouth. And I'll be, because it's the thing. Me and my, me and a couple of my friends, me and one of my best friends, we, we like to gossip about, about everybody in the group. But what I need to realize was that, for example, situation happened. This girl, one of my close friends, this is other girl that I'm not friends with anymore. I'm gonna call her Tater. Okay, Tater stopped being friends with me because I was close friends with somebody Tater didn't like and was so stupid. Anyway, I was talking to one of my best friends, and the best friends was telling me that Tater told Dom that they weren't friends anymore with somebody I'm close friends with, and I so I I asked what my close friend about the situation. And they're like, no, we're still friends as far as I know. Like, he told you. And my other friend, I'm like, yo. I'm like, no. she's asking who fucking told me. And I keep telling my little birdie. And she's like, who? And my other friend's like, just tell her. And I tell her. And she thanked me for telling her. And then she's just telling me, well, I guess me and Taylor aren't friends anymore. And I'm a text for that shit. And I'm like, I mean, I feel some way too. If somebody's supposed to be one of my best friends and they're talking shit. I mean, eight people, but oh, I mean, so saying friends anymore. Willie, really, bitch. God, guys, this shirt is a disaster. Oh, I cannot make any t shirts. Anyway, space is ending my two cents. But you know what, honestly, um, 
And I'm proud of myself. I did a video the other night when I was talking. I, I was angry at my friends. And I didn't post it because I, I had to think and calm down. And I was like, you know what? I'm not posting that shit because it's going to be certain shit. Because I've learned something. When I get into fights with my friends, I like to vent and talk shit I'll, on videos on, on the channel. And I, I'm not going to do that anymore. Anyway, um, some people probably ain't going to like this video because I, I'm standing behind Shane and Jeffrey and Trisha. And Gabby Hanna, even though the people want to cancel Gabby Hanna, which is bullshit. But Shane, Gabby Hanna, um, if you guys are watching this video, keep your chin up. You know, it's my mom's always told me this. People, well, actually, Trisha told me this too, which is so true. Trisha told me when I met her that you're going to know when you're slowly making it big when you have people hating on you for no reason. Gabby and Shane... You, you guys are popping. Y'all famous. People are going to be hating on you and talking shit forever. And I don't condone people spreading lies about people. Like, there's some stuff Gabby was sharing on her Instagram, which made me really sad. And, you know, that people back home are like hearing rumors about her and believe Gabby. If these people were really your friends, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be believing these rumors. Shane Dawson, I'm excited because... You're posting the episode on your main channel. And I mean, a couple weeks ago, I got I started crying because Shane posted a new, a new video. Trisha posted, I think, another new video. I started crying because I love Shane and Trisha, Trisha, Trisha so much. Just, side note, just like me. If I ever meet Iggy and Zila, I'm going to be crying because I fucking love Iggy so much. I just know the product. Anyway, guys. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, if you're new to the channel, just know I do videos like this where... I like to get my opinion about shit. But, um, what's funny, my other channel, which I'm probably not going to do anymore because no one's watching this shit, is I did a video talking about Trisha Pace's sex tape. Her sex and I got so many views. And I was like, what the fuck? Anyway, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, wish me luck on my job interview today, on counseling, on all the shit going on. I'm, I'm going to vlog later. So, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I was... Doing a vlog about Buffalo Wild Wings and Kroger. And I've like scraped that vlog because <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings never called me back. Kroger. <laughs> Basically, what happened with Kroger? I have to go in for an interview Monday, 9 45. Manager apparently called me the crack of dawn when my phone was off and let me know hey, you know, we gotta move it to one because I got called in the interview by my boss. So I called early and t talked to the manager and was like, hey, can you let her know blah, 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 that? I gotta be working on one. So it didn't happen. Well, so yeah, and I didn't hear anything back. I called that lady today. I mean, yesterday. Called up there, and they were like, "Hey, oh yeah, um, she's gonna be. You know, I want something. Call back tomorrow." But for the Wild Wings, I called yesterday. The manager's oh, yeah, the manager's gonna be at ten some blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what? <sighs> I'm not going. I'm not gonna be stressing about this shit. I'm not. <laughs> if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Peace.